burst. Various collapsed mines from across the US from 1839 to 2021 are a direct result of confined pressure being released by an agent known as unloading. Internal unloading is known as an outburst, while external unloading is known as exfoliation, a type of physical weathering. Before expanding and understanding the exfoliation process, we must first understand what unloading and weathering is. There are two types of weathering, chemical and physical weathering. Physical weathering can occur in growth in voids, expansions of rocks and minerals, and spherical weathering and honeycomb weathering. Under the expansion of rocks and minerals lies unloading, thermal expansion and contraction, and hydration and swelling. Again, the definition of unloading is confined pressure released by an agent. In the mines, the miners are the agents. Now, let's expand on exfoliation. So how exactly do these exfoliation layers form? Well, deep within the earth, the deposition of either igneous magma or metamorphic rock forms under the pressure and weight of stratified sedimentary layers. The erosion of these sedimentary layers persistently relieves the pressure the plutons form under, paired with exemption, which is uplifting and faulting, contributing to the expansion and cracking of igneous or metamorphic rock, known as pressure expansion. This pressure expansion directly relates to the formation of these same exfoliation layers. 900 miles south of Eastern Washington University in Yosemite National Park is a popular geological hotspot known for its exfoliation domes, tallest standing approximately 8,800 feet above sea level. On September 28, 2017, a rockfall, estimated to be the size of an apartment, occurred at 3.21 p.m., killing a British tourist and severely injuring his wife. Geologists believe the cracks from expansion pressure paired with the additional physical weathering feature frost wedging, where water seeps into voids exerting repetitive stress from freezing and thawing of ice, led to this mass-wasting rockfall event. Repetitive thermal expansion and contraction of surface rocks, predominantly in hotter climates, can result in exfoliation of the surface layers. Smaller scale exfoliation layers can occur with hydration slash swelling, in which the absorption of water into a mineral, commonly clay, results in an increase in the volume of the rock. When clay swells, just like frost wedging and thermal expansion slash contraction, pressures exerted on the rock resulting in exfoliated layers similar to that of Shrek's relative onions. Just 25 miles east of Eastern Washington University lies the Rocks of Sharon, nearby exfoliated domes of granite and quartzite from the metamorphic core complex during the mid-Cretaceous, first occurring roughly 100 million years ago. Originally formed as plutons, uplifting and erosion of surface layers revealed the exfoliated dome outcroppings that called local hikers and rock climbers today. If you ever get the chance to visit local exfoliation dome, there is a possibility you too could witness this. You see that? It just popped right up. Little, little piece flew into the air. 